Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming out tonight. Have I got the microphone right? Yes. Um, it's so great that you're here. Um, my name is Gail. Uh, it's, I sometimes get called snail mail, but with the uh, popul popularity of the internet, I had to update to email, but my good friends call me Gmail. <laughs> And I think I got my comedic talent, uh, you'll see that as the, uh, my performance progresses, um, from my dad. Uh, he, he was a motel manager. Um, the motel was in Millicent, which is near Adelaide. Uh, you, it's not the end of the earth, but you can see it from there. <laughs> so I was pretty excited about doing this uh, workshop, this stand-up comedy workshop, and so I texted a friend, and she texted back, Wow, Hilaire, go you! And I thought, Hilaire? What the heck is Hilaire? Um, and so I looked it up in the Urban Dictionary, I Googled, Googled it, I can't even say Google, I Googled it as you do, and in the Urban Dictionary uh, it explained that Hilaire is short for hilarious. Uh, it also means that it's something where it's very funny, but not quite funny enough to be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, so, um, I, I sort of did a bit more research and apparently uh, other people have done it before me and uh, each syllable takes 0.14 seconds to say. So if you say hilaire, you save 0.28 seconds and you can imagine in a day all the time you would save. That could be used for stalking your friends on Facebook, Twittering, um, you know, posting on Instagram and, you know, all that important stuff that we do today in this modern world. But I also discovered that um, there's a whole dictionary of these shortened words. So, for example, haps is happy. Peeps is people, so haps peep is happy people. And um, the thing, the word that really interested me was relash. Relash. Do you know what relash would stand for? The shortened version of? Relationship. I once had a relash. <laughs> It was going quite well, and then I read um, uh, Gloria Steinem, feminist writer's book, <laughs> said, uh, said uh, a woman without a man is like a fish without a bicycle, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that relation ended. <laughs> We were living in East Kew at the time, and uh, I thought it's it's totally, I, I mean, totes in a probe <laughs> for us to stay living in the same place. So I said, I thought he should go and live in Far Kew. <laughs> far Kew, I said, Far Kew. <laughs> or even packing them up. <laughs> But look, it's all right now. I'm, I'm nearly out of time, but um, you'll be pleased to know that I've got a new boy, <laughs> Bob the Builder. He's from Riz Vegas, and uh, so it works really well. We, you know, don't have to see that much of each other, but it's nice when we do. And I live in Fitzroy, very groovy Fitzroy, and I like to go to the local bar in Gertrude Street and have a few drinks with my friend. We go down there on a Friday night and share cocktails. Um, J Janice, uh, supermodel Janice Dickinson, um, has, uh, 
had sexual encounters with many uh, celebrities, Hollywood celebrities, and she thinks that Liam Neeson has the biggest penis of all. <laughs> now there is a copter. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.